loaves of bread from Muddy Fork's bakery reach customers' hands on Saturday morning at the market. They're just hours old. Baking began at 2 a.m. that morning in the woods of Northeast Monroe County, about eight miles from downtown Bloomington. Tucked in the trees is Muddy Fork's bakery and its signature wood-fired brick oven. That really sets the crust apart, also the interior of the breads. It's, it's definitely what makes the bread what it is. From artisan hearth-baked breads to pretzels and pastries, everything is made of 100% locally grown organic whole grains and wheat flour. We are a small family operation, so it's just myself and my husband, and then we have two children. My husband, Eric, is the baker. He has developed all of the recipes. It is sort of our dream to have a family business and then to do something that we feel is sustainable and environmental in nature, as well as just really beautiful. I think it's kind of amazing to create something that is so delicious and complex tasting and looking from just a few very simple ingredients. Some of our breads only contain water, flour, and salt and nothing else. We really enjoy being able to work with local farmers and producers for our ingredients interact directly with customers at the farmer's market, and we love being able to work with our hands, being able to work from home on our property, and being able to work somewhat outdoors. For four years, the family worked out of the tiny 200-square-foot bakery next to their house, until the unthinkable happened. In early 2014, the family suffered a devastating fire, and the bakery burned to the ground. It did feel like this our whole livelihood was up in smoke. Um, we were incredibly lucky that no one was hurt and that our house was not destroyed. In the days after the fire, it was hard to ask for help, Katie says. But customers and strangers alike helped the couple rally, raising over $20,000 for the family to rebuild. We are extremely fortunate to have an overwhelming amount of support from the community. I think it took exactly 26 weeks, which is half a year, to rebuild the bakery. I, I think that we realized that even right away how lucky we were to be able to make some pretty significant changes to improve the bakery. We had to um, build a new oven and we decided to build an oven that is a little bit larger. Our current oven can bake about 65 loaves at a time in it. And then the bakery is also a little bit larger, so it's easier to accommodate more help, more product. And then the other major change is that we added a cool room, and so that allows us to prepare all the doughs and shape all of the breads on Friday, and then we tar them overnight so that we can bake everything fresh in the morning. This September, the bakery reopened, and the wood-fired oven roared to life once again thanks to the generous support from the community. Since we knew so soon after the fire that we had insurance and that we had this money raised for us, I never felt scared that we couldn't make it through. So I was very thankful for that. We received money from a lot of people who maybe we didn't even know or weren't close friends with and we felt like maybe it wasn't just because they were our friends or family but because they actually really enjoyed our product and wanted to see it continue. So that motivated us to want to continue. I'm extremely thankful. We wouldn't have been able to do this without them. Oh man, that's good.